Hi guys and welcome back to LPB Racing. This is going to be our second race at, to at Tokyo in the GR1 Vision Gran Turismo cars. This is a re complete reverse grid now. So Callum's on pole because he discounted in the last one from Mr. Slow One Footman. Getting ready to go. Revs rise. We're still getting ready for a start. Oh, Footman's gone early. No, Footman's gone early. He'll get a little penalty on the line for that. And Callum's not moved either. Callum's kept still as well. So Callum, unfortunately, again, disconnected. So very unfortunate for him as everyone else heads down towards the first corner. It's Rodas in the lead from Mr. Slow One. Side by side into the first corner. Got to be careful through here, guys. Reverse grid. Some of the faster guys at the back and onto the brakes into the first corner. And Mr. Slow One gets passed up by a few people there. Everyone else around safely, more or less. A couple of barrels go flying. But no problems there. As we look back up front, Neil Farmer can seat one going side by side up into the overpass. Seat one goes ahead. Seat one into second place. Neil Farmer, oh, a mistake from seat one there. Neil's trying to take advantage of it. Rodas in the lead still. Liliam now in the fight. Liliam into, back into third place. Neil Farmack shuffled back down to fifth. As we go into the complex section, flat out left hander into the chicane, which usually separates the men from the boys. Into the chicane, Nick Hash goes a bit wide. Neil has to avoid him in a few contacts into the wall. Meanwhile, a bit further back, Biz is uh, working his way through from near the back of the grid with Ty and Jamo and the rest. Where am I? Uh, Callum's still on the line, so Callum still can't get going, unfortunately. TY there in 10th place. Bidster on the move, trying to catch Keith. Oh, we've got a few cars together out front. It's all a big gaggle of cars. Cars everywhere. But in the lead now is Neil Farmack. Fantastic stuff. Meanwhile, everyone else is drafting back here. Seat one, Rodas, Jano side by side. Oh, brilliant stuff. As Nick, Nick Cash is catching up to these lot as well. It is anyone you want for the lead. Neil Farmack in the lead. Rodas second, Lillian third. Jamo fourth. Nick Hash about to be passed by Seek and possibly Keith as well. We'll go back to the ones a bit further in front. Neil Farmack under attack from Rodas into the hairpin. Rodas has gone straight on. He can't get the car stopped. Comes back across. Neil Farmack's there. Seat one's there as well. Oh, very close stuff on. Keith and Lilliam contact. Don't know what happened there, but Keith is still going. So we'll get some replays on that first lap action and Lil's incident. Okay, guys, here's a replay of the first lap. On board with Neil, let's see what happened. So we get off to the start, Callum doesn't move, Footman runs into him and then a few of the cars collide with each other further back. So unfortunately that couldn't be helped due to Callum's disconnection. So we're coming up towards the first corner now, we're in the draft of Seek 1. We've got Mr. Slowan and Rodas ahead of us. We've got Lillian behind us in the Peugeot but a bit further back, so nothing to worry about behind. As we go into the airpin, oh, straight past Mr. Slowan and in the middle of seat one as well. A little bit of contact with Rodas on the exit, but no harm done there as we keep wide. And then we've got a Bugatti around here somewhere. There he is, there's seat one, just going ahead of us. As we go into this overpass section, into it, oh, seat makes a little mistake there. Rodas a bit slow as well. And then in here, you'll see Rodas and seat go wide. McNeil can't go anywhere. Lily, I'm lucky to avoid. Nick Hash goes through as well. In the other Mazda, so now we come through to the towards that chicane and this is the phenomenal Neil doing what he does best. So you'll see Rodas and Seat One hold each other up. Neil keeps the left, passes Nick Hash, Lillian makes a mistake, Seat One opens the doors, Neil says thank you, straight through from fifth to second. And now right behind Rodas. Meanwhile, Seat and Lillian side by side in the back uh, behind us. And as we go into the into in up the hill, Rodas breaks early, Neil sees a gap up the inside and straight through, leaving everyone else to fight amongst themselves. So that's the first lap on board with Neil. OK, here's a replay of what happened to Lil Yam approaching the first corner. For some reason he goes to the left here, and then all of a sudden slows down, and from the onboard it was, sounds like he topped out, but unless we've got to change gear or something, but he falls back down in seventh place, Keith is up the inside. Now watch here, as Lil Yam goes around the outside, Keith keeps it tight to the inside, and Lil Yam comes across and then tap, Straight into the wall, nothing Keith could do about that, and Lilliam ends up rejoining in last place. And as we come back from those replays, Neil's still in the lead, Jamo up to second, 
No, Rodas is second now. Jamal makes an error. Nick Hash goes through as well. Oh, phenomenal stuff. Oh, no, no, he doesn't. He goes back a few places. Rodas into the wall. Jamo plays pinball with him and bounces off him. McLaren corner pocket as seat one takes advantage there as well. Nick Hash goes backwards. Rodas has gone backwards now. Bidster takes a couple of places. Oh, brilliant. We'll get another replay on that. And we're on board with Bidster on lap two to just have a look what's happened. So, Keith goes wide there, it's tapped by T.Y. so he goes through there and then Rodas oh, goes wide and blocks T.Y. and then Bidzer says thank you very much, I will go straight through as we come back from that, Jamo still in second place now seat one under pressure from Nick Hash in the Mazda we all know the Mazda's got good top end speed so seat one needs a good run out of here but again, the Bugatti not having any hybrid it'll pull away a bit initially but then the Mazda's will be right on him and Bidster's right behind Nick Hash as well, so this could be two places lost for seat one here if he's not careful. As we go down, let's go on board, looking backwards from Seek, from Seek. As Nick comes up, Nick goes to the right, or to the left of us, looking at the camera, and Bidster's going to go the other way. So, mugged by two masses in one go. Bidster might now have a look at Nick Hash as well into the hairpin. Let's have a look, see what happens here. Does he go for the inside? No, Nick Hash blocks it, uh, cut, uh, defends it off. Oh, Nick Hash has gone wide, though. Nick Hash goes wide, bids to go through the... Oh, hits a barrel in the air. So another barrel takes a tumble. But bids to still in third, seat one fourth now. Nick Hash fifth. Up towards the overpass. Let's have a look, look further back. We've got Keith and T.Y. battling back here. T.Y.'s in front of Keith now in the Tomahawk. Footman and Mr. Slow one still battling in the background and Lilian recovering after that incident earlier in 11th place. Meanwhile, battle for second, third and fourth is still on. Jamal makes a mistake. Seat one runs into the back of him. Can't avoid at those speeds. As Jamal, Jamal plays ping pong with himself off the walls. Back now in a fifth. So unlucky there for Jamal. Just gets caught up in the wall. Meanwhile, battle for the lead is on. Bidster versus Neil. First time these two have gone at it in LPB racing. We've been at it in other leagues but before, but in our in LPB racing, this is our first scrap together. Neil's a very wily campaigner though, he'll not let bids to go without a fight. The two Mazdas drafting each other down the straight. Neil moves one way and then slowly to the other, so he's not weaving as bad as he was in the first race. Just a little bit. And Bidster moves out, but I'm not sure, even sure if he's close enough yet. No, he doesn't. He just moves out just to make Neil look in his mirrors. Down towards the hairpin, will he go for it? And the answer is no. Neil defends the inside. No way through for Bidster there. But both Bidster gets on the power a bit earlier though. And, tr and tries to go around the outside of him, and he does. Around the outside of Neil Farmack. Good move there by Bidster. Takes the lead. Seat one third. Jamo fourth. Jamal looks like he's got some decent pace in that Mazda. He could be a threat in this race. He's right behind seat one now. Just got to keep it close. Meanwhile, a bit further back, we've got Rodas, Keith, and T.Y. who has to avoid Keith after Rodas makes a mistake. So T.Y. still struggling to come back through the field in this one. So the reverse grid not being too kind to T.Y. Whereas for Bidster, it is being kind. He's already gone up 11 positions from his starting, uh, from his starting position. So I know it says 1 out of 11, but remember Callum's unfortunately disconnected again from this, so Callum's internet not doing him any favours in this one whatsoever. So Biz doing the lead, going around there, Neil Farmack, and... Oh, Jamo! Was he hit or did he fall or was he pushed? We'll get a replay. OK, so let's have a look at the replay of what happened between Jamo and Seek. Did he fall or was he pushed? Coming up to this next, to this next corner, so Seek one on the left, Jamo on the right. Seat one. Oh, not sure which way he's going to go. A bit of contact there, and then Jamo scrapes the wall. As we rejoin, Jamo in front, in third place. Seat fourth, Nick Ash fifth. Seat one in the Bugatti. He's able to just about keep with the Mazda with the draft, but whether he'll be close near the end of the straight, we'll see. We'll see Mr. Neil go through. There goes Nick Hash round in the Mazda, so now hopefully seat one will get a double toe. There he goes. Tucked back in behind the behind the two Mazdas. Nick Hash is coming up now to overtake Jamo. 
Getting closer, getting closer. And just on the inside, Jamo's going to try and go around the outside. Will he get it stopped? They both get the car stopped. Will Jamo be able to carry more momentum around the outside? And he's still there. Nick Hash oh, gives him a squeeze and then into the wall. So Nick Hash had that coming there. So he just tried to squeeze him a bit too much. As we look back, Keith Rodas and TY having a good little scrap here as well. Keith and Rodas side by side in the two McLarens pulling away from that Tom Hawk on acceleration. But watch TY in this overpass section. He will be lightning quick. There he is, right behind Rodas. Can't really take advantage of the car at the minute, but yeah, there he goes, past Rodas. Rodas makes a mistake into the wall. TY up to seventh place. Meanwhile, Liliam is up to ninth place. He's ahead of Footman. And there's Mr. Slow One still keeping with the train. He's a bit he's a lot closer this time than he was last time. TY now using that Tomahawk's agility to its best. Gets right behind Keith now. The Tomahawk so wide compared to the McLaren. The McLaren looks like it's a junior car compared to the Tomahawk, which is so wide. But into the overpass, this is where TY will be good, but the McLaren will be good on acceleration out of the corner. TY goes to the outside, no way through. But on acceleration, that McLaren just pulls away. But then TY's got that car set up really well because there he goes. So TY goes through, Keith must have missed a gear there somewhere because it's not like Keith just let someone go like that but Keith back down to seventh place now meanwhile seat one and Nick Hash battling at it again Jamo's made a break for it so Nick Hash and seat one battling it out for fourth place onto the brakes into the hairpin Nick Hash and seat one oh seat one able to take such a tight line in that Bugatti Veyron but no way through there past Nick Hash Meanwhile, Bidster and Neil side by side for the lead. Bidster and Neil still battling at it. Fantastic stuff, Bidster trying to go around the outside of Neil and on again. Round the outside of Neil twice in one race. Fantastic stuff. Unbelievable move there from Bidster. Neil goes back to second, but Neil will not give up without a fight. He'll still keep close to Bidster. Jano in third, closing up on these two as well that are battling. Speaking of battling, Nick Hash and Seat One still going at it. Not giving up. Seat one has a little sniff into the chicane just to try and see if he can put Nick off his line, but ends up putting himself offline and losing speed to the Mazda. So lost a bit of time there. Meanwhile, TY's got past Rodas there, and Rodas goes wide into the wall. Keith follows him in the other McLaren. So both McLarens lose out there. TY goes through up to sixth place. So TY on the move now. He'll hook to try and catch Nick Hash and seek one. Meanwhile, there's Jamo, and there's the battle for the lead. Bidster ahead, Neil in the draft. Closing, closing, closing. Both them rotary engines sounding phenomenal as they come through the tunnel. Sparks flying from Neil Farmack as he goes through into the lead. Straightforward pass with the draft, slipstream. And overspeed as we go into the into the hairpin at the far at the far end of the track. Oh, Neil goes wide, Bidster gets a tight line, gets on the power earlier. Is he gonna be able to get through? No, he's not. Neil keeps the wide line on exit like Bidster's done to him at, for, for the last few laps. Neil uh, Nick Hash in fourth place there behind Jamo. So they've ditched seat one now. Seat one goes back a bit further. Seat one is the next victim for this man, TY. Keith still behind in seventh with Rod, uh, in eighth place with Rodas just in front in seventh place. Meanwhile, leader still at it. Bidster practically pushing Neil through this section, saying hello, Kui, remember me. Want me lead back? Go through the chicane. Both drivers phenomenal with the lines through there. Speed building towards 200 miles an hour as they come down towards this this uh, complex overpass at the end. Neil was a bit wide there but gets away with it Bidster all over him like a rash cannot get rid of him looks like Bidster's car set up for the corners a bit more he can hold up a tighter line but Neil now is on the straight it'll be a bit harder for Bidster to get past as they're drafting each other still very close in this race could be anything we're only on lap 7 out of 12 so we're only just over halfway in this race They draft each other now down the straight. Bids the drafts, pulls out, going for his move, but gets into the into the normal area and it becomes a stalemate. Neil trying to fight back. Bids is just in front, goes defensive, makes Neil go the other way, 
Good defensive driving there from Bidster. Keeps the tight line as well. Neil gives me a little helping hand saying, there you go, Sunshine, have a little help. Jamo closing up on this battle now, so do not discount Jamo out of this race. Anything could still happen. Nick Hash, fourth place, little scrape of the wall there, but no harm done. Meanwhile, a bit further back, we've just seen this in the background. Lil Yam's past Keith and he's now trying to get past Rodas. Rodas probably gets a little kiss there from Lil Yam. Ooh, tries to get past, but both cars, both of these cars, very good under acceleration. Oh, but the Peugeot a little bit better. Ooh, we'll have the top end. The answer is the Peugeot. Just about gets through into the complex section. So Lilian past Rodas now into seventh place. Keith, Keith hits the wall in the background, unlucky for Keith there, makes a mistake. There's Rodas all over the back of Lilian, tries to go for a roof around the outside, but that was never going to work. Not in a million years. If they go through the chicane, Lilian on the move now. So back up to seventh place. Rodas back down to eighth, might even be ninth at this rate with. Keith catching him. We'll just stay with this for a little bit. Just have a look. Is Keith going to go for it? Is he going to go for a move or is he going to stay behind? Nope, he stays behind for now. Rodas defends, but he's going to go into the wall. As Keith now goes up the inside, says thank you very much, and takes the eighth place. Both cars accelerate away onto the straight. Meanwhile, with the leaders, Bids doing the lead, Neil Jamo. But they are very close now. Jamo joined this now. Jamo's saying, I want a bit of this as well, wait for me. So into the hairpin we go, Bidster. Neil, oh, very close under braking, Neil's got that car, really sussed out on the brakes. Nick Hash in fourth with seat one behind him, both cars run wide. So no advantage gain there, both cars run wide and continue on. TY there in sixth place, he's slowly catching him, but it's not quite fast enough to catch him just yet. As Lil Yang goes through, Rodas, Keith. So Rodas back in front of Keith on the straight with the with the draft. Bids doing the lead. Now let's focus on this battle for a bit. Oh, Neil hits the wall. Jamo's gonna go around the outside. Jamo's lost speed. You're side by side. After you, no, after you. And Neil loses out back down the third after playing a tiny bit of uh, pinball with Jamo. Goes back down to third place. So Jamo takes advantage of Neil's mistake, gives him the hip and shoulder and goes through. So Jamo into second place. Nick Ash still fourth. Seat one closing up a bit more now. So Nick's probably making a few little mistakes out there. So seat one closing up, but he'll not get anywhere near on the straight. Not in the Bugatti anyway. The Mazda will pull away. There's TY, so he's visually close to them two now. So he's closing up slowly. Lilyam in seventh again. But we'll keep an eye out on this second place battle as well. Second place, Jamo. Neil just about in a draft, so they've separated a little bit. But still, three laps remaining in this race. 10, 11 and 12. Three laps remaining. Still could be anyone's race. We'll just look back at Nick Hash, who's the, he actually got seat one right behind him in the draft. So seat one's not lost out too much. Into the braking zone. Nick Hash runs wide, seeks up the inside, looking for a way through. Nick gives him room, but uses the foot, but uses the Mazda's superior acceleration initially out of the corner to get fourth place back and resume fourth place. The Mazda's got good initial acceleration, but once the hybrid cars get into like second or third gear, they will pull away. But luckily, both of these cars are not hybrid, both using a proper internal combustion engine as they're supposed to as seat one still right behind him looking for any way through looking left looking right into the chicane both cars through there very neatly indeed nick hash a little bit of a squirm from the outside and look who that is ty closing in in the in the corner section no surprise there in the tomahawk he's just done in 36 8 36 7 36 7 all three laps within a tenth of a second of each other that lap won't be though that'll be probably a bit slower but he's, catch, he's right behind him now, he's within drafting range. He's side by, he's, oh, so he was side by side with his seat, but now decides to tuck in. Now we'll see the true speed of that Tomahawk compared to a Bugatti and a Mazda. The Mazda pulls away. The Tomahawk not doing too bad in a straight line. It's not usually a good car in a straight line, but TY's got a decent setup on that for corners and the speed. And he's, look at that, side by side with the Veyron, and it's still fighting in there complete utter stalemate as we come down towards the hairpin 
as seat one just defends. TY has to. Oh, T oh, seat one's completely missed his breaking point. Going way out wide. TY goes up the inside and blocks off the inside so he can't get up the inside and can't use the four wheel drive of that Bugatti to get him back. So TY up to fifth, looking at fourth place now from Nick Hash. Meanwhile, Neil in third. Jamo has closed up to Bidster, so they've left ja they've left Neil behind, and Jamo is completely on it. Personal best of his of the race, personal best lap of his race, 136.2 last time round. Bidster's was a 37, so Bidster's made an error somewhere. He's usually in the 36s also. So Jamo on the move with uh, with one and a half laps remaining as they come up to the last corner, probably one and a quarter actually. Around this overpass section, he's well within drafting range. There's Bidster ahead. Jamo behind. This is going to be a cracking finish to this race. I can feel it. As they draft each other down the straight. Now, well, they're in each other's draft. Let's have a look behind. TY right behind Nick. This will be a good comparison for the Tomahawk. Versus Mazda. And look, the Tomahawk initially gets the power down. But now Nick is going to slightly pull away. Or is he? Look at the speed of that Tomahawk, fantastic stuff. Whereas now Bidster is under attack from Jamo on the last lap towards the hairpin. Jamo looks up the inside, Bidster's, no, Bidster's not, not even going to bother to defend because there's no point yet. Jamo runs wider than Bidster though, Jamo could have thrown it away there. There's a bit more of a gap between them now, let's have a look at T.Y. and Nick Hash. And Nick Hash gets back through as I thought with the Mazda, oh runs wide though, T.Y. straight up the inside. But that four-wheel driver, that Mazda will be good out the corner. Got to watch out for that. Nick Hash goes what round the long way, trying to look for a way around Ty. Almost side by side as you head up to the to the overpass. But this is where Ty's car is going to be strong, and Nick Hash knows that. Backs off and look at how fast Ty pulls away with that tomahawk. Fantastic stuff in the corners. Meanwhile, Bidster and Jamo. Jamo looking for a way through on Bidster. And, oh no, he's run wide. He's hit the wall. He's hit another one. Oh no. That's probably his last chance gone. He needed to be right close behind Bidster for a run onto the straight. But it, we never know if Bidster might make a mistake coming up to this last corner. We'll just quickly nip back to this battle here because Nick Hash is under attack from Seek 1. But we'll have to go back to the leaders. There's Bidster. There's Jamo. Don't think Jamo's going to be close enough. Biz has got a good enough lead now for, for definite. Just goes a bit wider there to avoid the draft. But I think Biz has got this. As we come down the straight for the last time in the second race of our first season on LPB Racing. Bidster weaves, he's won, fantastic for Bidster, good race, well done. Jamo in second place, well deserved second. Neil unlucky to be third because he looked promising in that race with some good pace. TY a good recovery from the back of the grid to fourth with the reverse. Nick Hash fifth, seat one sixth. Lilian is going to be seventh in the Peugeot. Rodas and Footman still all to play for. Oh, Rodas goes wide, makes a mistake, Footman closes up in the Bagaya but makes a mistake himself the McLaren will pull away initially but the Bagaya will be right behind him when it comes to the to the line probably we'll have to see as they're both in each other's draft Rodas moves out one way to try and lose the draft but now I don't think Footman's going to be close enough anyway Rodas takes 8th position in the McLaren Footman 9th in the Bugatti Veyron, Keith 10th in the other McLaren and Mr Slow One bringing up the rear in 11th place in the other Mazda. So, OK guys, let's have a look at the results after that race. So it was Bidster who won from what, by 1.3 seconds from Jamo in 2nd place, Neil rounds off the podium in 3rd, TY 4th in the Tomahawk followed by Nick Hash and Seek 1, then it was Lil Yam in the Peugeot, Rodas in 8th, Footman 9th, Keith in 10th place, Mr. Slow One in 11th, and unfortunately, Callum, a DNF due to yet again another server failure for Gran Turismo. Bidster with the fastest lap again, with a 1 minute 35.6 on lap 3. So, victory for Bidster in that race, fantastic stuff. And we'll see you guys next time. Take care.